Welcome to Romania. We have intel that the Syndicate is present in the area. Find the person and... Well, you know the drill. What if instead of the Romanian train being a piece of shit, it was a cool, fun passenger train? And what if that train was inside Freelancer for you to play on repeatedly with randomized targets? Well, wonder no more. You can actually play it if you're on PC. The Freelancer Variations mod originally just added bonus missions into Freelancer, like the ones on Sapienza and Marrakesh. But since then it's been expanded to include new maps that weren't even in Freelancer, like Hawks Bay, or modded locations like Sandbox Hantu Port. The Romanian passenger train is just the latest of these. And who knows what crazy stuff might happen in the future. So you're probably wondering how to get it. Well, let's head over to Nexus Mods. So once you get to the Nexus site, what you want to go and do is go to Popular Old Time, and get the old simple mod framework. Boom. For simple mod framework. Let's open that up. Boom. More info. Run anyway. All right. So it should automatically detect your game install, hopefully. And then you just click install the framework and go from there. Then back on popular old time, freelancer variations. Files. And you want to grab both of these things, SMF and SDK. Get the SMF out of the way. Points out that you need simple mod framework, which we've already downloaded. And we also need something called the SDK. Let's just get that downloading while we're at it and head on over to the SDK here. So on this page, you'll see there is one blue hyperlink. That is the download. And that takes you to the latest version of this thing. And you'll want to do the one that says release. And let's download that. And back on this page here, it will tell you how to install it. You basically just extract the zip into your game's retail folder. So then we go back here to the Freelancer Variations Files page, grab the SDK one, and now it just has these two little files on it. All you do is put it in that mods folder. Go to where your SMF is installed to, and then Mod Manager. You'll want to go to Enable and Disable Mods. Now, you won't really have anything on the left-hand side. You will go to Add a Mod. You will track down the SMF mod. And you click it, select, boom. Yeah. And you go down to Freelancer Variations. And you'll probably want to click on this Mod Options button first. So this screen basically is about Peacock, Hawks Bay, and the Chongqing, Chongqing Noodle Massacre bonus mission made by modders. There's no good reason to turn Chongqing Noodle Massacre off, so we'll start on by default. Just gives you a bit of variety in Chongqing. For Hawks Bay, generally you'd want it on. You will have the option of using that slot to have Hawks Bay Sandbox Hantu Port, if you install that mod, which is separate to this one. And or Romania, the passenger train variant. If you don't know what Peacock is, don't worry about it. This whole installation I've been showing you is for the SDK mod. If you want to learn about Peacock, there are other videos on that. But we're going with SDK, which is already selected, and Chongqing Noodle Massacre, already enabled. Uh, back to this screen. And then we hit apply, so the mod is actually installed. Then we just let it do its thing. There'll be a bunch of uh, warnings, but uh, just ignore them. They mean absolutely nothing. All right, so it's done deploying. It says it took four and a half minutes. We do not care about any yellow warnings. They mean nothing. If it's red and it says deploy unsuccessful, that's different. That's an issue. It means it has not worked, but Yellow means good, so it has worked. There's a link on the Nexus here to PP's, PyPy's variant picker website. All right, this will load a website that shows you 
all the different variants you have to choose from. Some don't have pictures at the moment. You know, forgive me. Give me a break. Okay. Um, pretty much, you pick and choose what ones you want to be in the pool or not. So you may not like the icon. Let's turn that off. Um, or you don't like Colorado because you have a brain and you decide you'd like the Romania passenger train to be in Colorado's slot only. Well, now you can do that. By default, Romania will start on in New York's map slot. Romania also does not have a showdown version at this point in time, so you can only get it for territory takedowns. And then when you're done, you hit generate, and then you put it in that retail mods folder. If down the track you just want to change one or two from what you've already done, you can upload your existing JSON file, it's called, into the website and it will say, oh, you have 28 variations switched off in my case. Okay, so now it has your existing loadout with everything on and off as you already had it. You can change your mind, whatever. And then you just generate again. Now, when you run the game for the first time since installing the SDK, you hopefully get this bar at the top here. Um, basically, what you do is you go in and you'll have to turn that on. And then click OK. And if you want to bring it back, you just hit the tilde key, also known as the approximately sign. Then you get into the old freelancer, and pretty much, if you've done everything right, then you should have the mod working. Let's have a look at Hawks Bay here. Welcome to Hawks Bay. We have been informed that the syndicate is currently in operation here. Find the target and eliminate. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. There we go. Oh, you're kidding me. No. There we go. So, that's everything you need to know to play the passenger train and other new maps in Freelancer on PC.